I've got my headband on. Hey, girl. How are you? Oh my God, my background looks kind of crazy. I was trying so bad to set up this live with my Canon camera, but apparently I have to buy some sort of connection. So back on this webcam, which I hate the quality, but whatevs. How are you guys doing? I am getting a really bad stuffy nose. Did I bring any tissue? Oh my God. The kids are a little bit um, stuffy and now it's my turn, which is not good because I have so much work to do. Thank you, thank you so much. I actually got this from, um, what did I get it from? HomeSense, yeah, HomeSense. Everything in the background is from HomeSense pretty much. It looks way better in the videos. I can't wait to upload. I have a new video coming out tomorrow with the new background. So I'm excited for you guys to actually see. It looks so good in the quality. It's so, so good. Hi, Paula. Hi, Patricia. What do I have for you guys? Um, I got a big haul. I'm probably gonna do this on my channel regardless. So I probably will delete the live once it's done, I think. But um, yeah, we got quite a few fragrances to talk about. And if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to ask. I'm trying to figure out a new setup. I need some inspiration. Honestly, I wanted just something still very me. Like I like neutral tones, but with the, I wanted a, just a little bit of color. And I think the pictures that I selected, they're not doing the most in the background, especially with the lens that I have where it blurs it out slightly. And also the little floral arrangement, these are all like dried up kind of flowers. So they will live forever and I don't have to replace them. Um, I think if you just add just a little, just a little something to enhance the background, it always makes a huge difference. And a candle always just sets the vibe. <laughs> but I think I'll leave this till like end of the year because I really like the way that it looks in the videos. It's not clashing with what I'm wearing, makeup and all that stuff. Hello from France. Oh my God, it must be so late where you are. United Kingdom, yeah, it's late where you are too. Thank you for joining the live. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm drinking lots of water because um, I really need to get my, my throat and my nose together. I have so much work to do, but um, 1.20 a.m., yeah, I knew it was late. My mom and my sisters actually live in the UK. They are, they've been there for a while, actually, a couple of years. Here in Canada, it's only 8.20. Yeah, 8.20 right now. Your backgrounds are always beautiful. Thank you. Right now, you guys are seeing all the stuff that gets hidden away when I film, right? All the, all the mess right here, all the PR and all that stuff. <laughs> You guys can see it. That's why I was trying to set up the live through my camera, but hopefully I will get the little core that I need and next live will be a lot better. Like the quality will be a lot better because I don't like the webcam quality. Hello from Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, so many people from Europe. That's so cool. And Korea, oh my gosh, hi. It's 7.20 p.m. in South, in the South. <laughs> Okay, so you guys aren't that uh, that far from me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I have quite a few fragrances that I got myself that was sent to me. So I wanted to kind of go through and like talk, you know, and chat, very casual. You, you guys know my lives are very, very casual. If you guys have any questions, definitely feel free. Feel free to uh, write them down. Oh my gosh, I need tissue. Write them down. I got 
a few little strips over here. These are were sent from Amouage that I'm going to be using to smell these. A lot of these are complete blind buys, to be honest. Did you try mixing Rolling in Love with Lost Cherry? Beautiful. Okay, that suggestion, I actually have a list on my phone of all of the um, layering combos, and that one was on there. Stunning. I need to make a video on some more of those layering combos. That was beautiful. Thank you for the suggestion. Hi from New Zealand. Hi, Fiona. Oh, this message, let's see. Hi from Boston. How are you ladies? How's everyone doing? How's your day going? Any plans for the weekend? Hi from Portugal. Oh my gosh. Hola, tudo bem? Catarina. You guys are just all over the place. Thank you so much, Fiona. Thank you. So, um, yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know, but definitely comment. How's your plans for the weekend? I am just going to chill at home because I'm trying to get over this like raspiness that I have in my throat and my nose is super stuffy. So I'm going to stay home and try to edit some content, um, for the next couple of couple of what content for the next week, because I've been skipping on a few days and I really want to get back to being consistent with three to four videos for you guys. Catarina, yes, eu falo português, sim. I do speak Portuguese, that's my um, my first language. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's cool to see someone from Portugal. Oh my God, I miss Portugal so much. Like we are dying to go on vacation there. I miss Lisbon, like the food, the architectural, like it's just beautiful. I love, love Portugal. I mean, I don't know if I would live there because I did stay there for six months, but um, <laughs> I would definitely visit. Plus my family home is there, so yeah. Um, okay, let's start with, I have some fragrances from Be Layered. Okay, they're slowly trickling back on social media, which is so fantastic. I used to work with Be Layered a lot um, last year and the year before that. And then they kind of took a little pause slightly, um, just, you know, their own company stuff to deal with, but they're back on their grind and they um, sent over a few uh, scents the video and compare them to the actual um, scents that they're inspired from. So I have Cherry Delight, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And let me just tell you, my nose is a little stuffy. I can still smell, thank God. <laughs> this is this is good. I'm, I, that's all I'm going to say, okay? And then there's also Dennis and um, Liné. So I have three that are kind of new. I think there's another one that's supposed to be a dupe for Rose Prick. Um, what else? There's another one. This is, yeah, this one is supposed to be a dupe for the, uh, two bros, something from Tom Ford. So lots of Tom Ford inspired scents, which is kind of cool because Tom Ford is definitely getting up there in their prices. I'm not going to lie as much as I love my Tom Ford fragrances. The prices are getting a little, a little crazy. Oh my God. I feel like I need to sneeze already. Um, from Porto, I'm from Porto. You need to go there. It's so beautiful. Yes, I have heard that Porto is beautiful. I've actually never been there. I've only been to Lisbon and Algarve. I used to live in Algarve um, for a couple of months before I actually came to Canada. So those are the two two places. So I lived in Lisbon and then I lived in Algarve. I'm trying to have a no buy month. Me Listen, I told myself next month I should go on a no buy or a low buy at least. So um, I'm with you. I am with you <laughs> because it's getting out of hand and I'm doing a huge declutter. I'll show you guys the, the sense that I'm decluttering next time, but um, I still have to go through 
my fragrance um, collection and take out quite a few more that I know, to, you know, you know, you have them and you want to keep them, but you haven't touched it in literally months and months, sometimes over a year. They need to just, you know, they need to go. They need to go. Rose prick gives me an instant headache. Oh, really? I I like rose prick. I do like it. I, it's not like a love for me, but I do like it. Algarve is perfect for a ferias. Yes, Algarve is like the best place for a vacation in Portugal. It's so nice, especially the beaches. Absolutely. Living there, uh, it gets a little quiet after a while. Um, definitely prefer Lisbon. So those are the ones from Be Layered. Excuse me with my voice and all that stuff. Um, oh, I posted this on my Instagram. So MAC Cosmetics Velvet Teddy, which is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's uh, tobacco vanille. Um, I don't know why it hit that comment. Rose prick is way too powdery for me. Yeah, it does come off powdery. Definitely, definitely. That's why I say I like it, but it's not a love. I think I like the bottle more than the actual fragrance. I'm not even going to lie. And sometimes <laughs> I do that a lot. And then the scent just sits there without me using it. <laughs> um, so this one is uh, Velvet Teddy. And I've already played around with it. So... The opening and slightly the dry down is really, actually really, really similar to Tobacco Vanille. I was very surprised. Um, and this, I'm actually so surprised by how potent this fragrance is. Like it's pretty beast mode on me. And the only thing, <sighs> I was so sad that it didn't work out for me because it, it turns really powdery to the point that it made me feel very nauseous. Like I had to go and scrub this off, but it is very, very close to tobacco vanilla, like very close. If you like a little bit more of a, like a powdery finish, um, you're going to really enjoy this one because the vibe, the smell, even it smells very similar to tobacco vanilla, but then there's this like powderiness my daughter's on the live. There's this like powderiness that um, is just too much for me. Like it really turned my stomach. So even just smelling it here is enough for me. Like it makes me feel nauseous. I don't know why. It's such a good price and it's actually a really good dupe. But unfortunately, this is not a keeper for me because it really just, uh, it made me feel really sick. Maybe for really sick, but if you don't mind powderiness, this is a great, great alternative to tobacco vanille, 100%. So that is um, Velvet Teddy from MAC Cosmetics. And it's actually like pretty loud. The projection is loud. It's long lasting, but I just couldn't take it. Bye. My daughter's saying bye. <laughs> Um, what do you think about Velvet Orchid? I like it. I really, really like it. No by August. Yep. I had to sell mine. Oh, you're talking about Rose Prick. I still have mine, but I can honestly count on one hand how many times I've used Rose Prick, which is not good because I've had it for, I want to say a year now or just over a year. Yeah. And then, um, what other fragrances did I get? Oh, I got some um, replica Maison. So this one here is Beach Walk, which I had wanted to add to my collection for the longest time, especially now that it's summertime. I'm really into very light scents, beachy scents, you know, the whole sunscreen kind of vibe, coconutty vibe. So Beach Walk was one that a lot of you guys recommended to me. So this is I like, I really, really, really like it. It's it's so nice. Like there's not really much negative things to say about this scent. It's just a very likable everyday kind of scent. And I, I love the um, replica bottles and everything. Yeah, this is very, very 
beachy honey-esque almost i don't even know the notes in here but i get like almost like a honeysuckle vibe it slightly slightly reminds me of um joe malone honeysuckle and davana yeah slightly reminds me of that it's very fresh light airy kind of like everyday breezy type of scent but it will give you like a summertime beachy vibe honey vibe 100%. So this one is a really nice one. I like it. Um, I haven't played around with it so much yet. Thank you so much, Fiona. You are so sweet. Thank you. And um, it's a really, really nice one. I really like that one a lot. And then this was actually sent to me by the brand. This is Matcha Meditation, which I did get a few requests to review this one here. I'm going to actually spray it on the other side of the card, this side here. And this one surprised me. I don't know why. I thought I was going to, I thought it was going to be a lot more green because, you know, matcha. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more green, but this is definitely a very like creamy, slightly green tone, but it's more of like, I get almost like this coconutty vibe. I don't know the notes in this one. Let me just check. But I get like a bit of a coconutty vibe in this one. It's definitely very like summery. And I thought it was, I don't know why. When I when I heard the name, I was expecting something else. Matcha meditation. Meditation. Okay. Okay, well, on for Grantica. Let's just see. Okay, so we have green tea, bergamot, mandarin, orange. There's jasmine, there's orange blossom. Yeah, I get the like the white floral tones. There's white chocolate. Really? Moss and cedar. Mm, actually, yeah, now that it's drying down, you slightly get like a chocolatey vibe, but I also get like almost like a coconutty vibe. Yeah, like a slight, I don't know it's from that chocolate, but... I get like this slightly creamy vibe. It's actually a very nice scent. Like for everyday wear, especially for summertime, it's pretty like perfect for that. You know what I mean? It's light, it's airy, it's not overly sweet. Like there's a bit of sweetness. Yeah, it's it's nice. If you love like uh, all of the other replica fragrances that are very light and airy, that this is a no-brainer. You're gonna you're gonna really like this one. You are because it's not even too green. It's slightly green, but not really overly done. So I like this one. Matcha meditation. Um, just for like everyday casual, going to the beach, you're going to run errands, that kind of deal. Those two are really great for summertime, and these make for amazing uh, fragrances for your bed sheets. Like love, love these scents. So I got those two and I think I'm going to do an updated collection of the replica line because I have quite a few. I also ended up getting jazz club, which so many of you guys recommended, but surprisingly it's a lot more masculine than I um, thought it would be. To be honest, it's actually why really, really masculine to me. So I barely, um, I barely wear that one, to be honest. It's been sitting there for a little while. Um, matcha meditation is on the way to me as we speak. I think you're going to really like this one. I think you're going to, it's not like anything spectacular, but it's nice. It's pleasant to wear. You know what I mean? Uh, what is the best dupe for Baccarat Rouge in your opinion? In my opinion, I have a full video on that, um, you know, the whole dupe of Baccarat Rouge. And for me, it is Sunset Riot. Um, what's the name of the fragrance? I don't even remember anymore. But um, I do have an entire video on comparing it to like um, Burberry, to Cloud, um, and for me, I think Sunset Riot is the closest one to that fragrance. I mean, there's other houses that I've never tried, but just the ones that I had. What do you think of Prada La Femme? You must be new to my channel because that is one of my faves. Like that is absolute must have. <laughs> absolute must have. 
do you sell? Um, I don't think I'm going to do that because last year I did that and it was just, it was really hectic. It was just too much to handle, to deal with lots of DMs. And there was a lot of confusion at my post office at that time. And it was just so hectic that my experience was a little oof. So I don't know if I would do that again, honestly, maybe here and there, but um, for the most part, I just give it to uh, friends and family. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I've sampled it and I got my hands on T Escape and I want to compare them. Okay. Oh, if you sampled it. Oh, that's great. Um, I've never tried, have I tried the one? I have the, the only one intense, which I love, but the one, maybe I have sampled it. Maybe I have tried it and I just thought it was okay. Cause that it's not really clicking to my mind. Like, oh my God, I love it. Or it, it, it like, you know, resonates with me. So maybe I have tried it. I think I have like before going full-time on YouTube, I was working at, um, Bobby Brown. So I was really close to like the fragrance department. So every day I was trying to smell everything. <laughs> so I think I have smelled it, but um, I just don't remember fully what I thought of it, to be honest. Hi, Jenny. Thank you for joining. Sweet, uh, simple, sweet caramel scent. Okay. 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 Let's, let's move the replica line, which I love that line so much. My favorite is definitely by the fireplace. I love by the fireplace. That is my fave. Um, I was so, so surprised that I actually got contacted by Fragrance Dubois and they sent me this lovely fragrance over here. The packaging, ooh, like when we're talking luxurious, I mean, doesn't get better than this, like super, super luxe. So they sent me um, Siberian Rose as well as a sample pack with a few scents. I'm thinking of doing like a full video on the sample pack to show you guys. They are on the pricey side, I'm not gonna lie, they're very pricey. But when it comes to niche houses, I always look at like the, oh, sorry, my nose is stuffy. I always look at like the quality of everything, not just the fragrance, but I'm talking the packaging, um, the presentation, everything, right? Customer service, all of it, because it has to be a full on experience when you're paying top dollars. It has to be, you, you can't give me mediocre, like it's not happening. Right. So with Fragrance of Bois, I definitely love the packaging. It's beautiful. It's very luxe. There's a lot of weight to this. Like even the cap, it's beautiful. So I am really enjoying the presentation. Um, Siberian Rose is, I've only played around with it twice now. Yeah. It is definitely a very rose prominent scent. It is very, very luxurious smelling, super smooth and elegant. And it's a little bit more of a drier, spicy rose to me. Oh, just on the just in the cap, I can smell it. So I do like it, and um, I want to play with it some more before I talk about it fully. Because, like I said, the atomizer is beautiful. Like I said, these are very expensive fragrances. So I want to be very, very honest and transparent with you guys when it comes to these fragrances. If I truly, truly feel like it's worth every penny. You know what I mean? And with a lot of fragrances, I get a ton of niche fragrances sent to me, but I don't talk about a lot of them because I just don't feel like it is fair for me to say, hey, go out and spend $500 if I wouldn't on a specific scent. You know what I mean? So if I ever unbox something and you never hear me talking about it, that's kind of giving you the, the hint of where my mindset is. But this one is nice. It can easily be unisex. Slightly, slightly leaning feminine, slightly. But I can definitely see a male pulling this one off. Has this really nice sweetness, but it's not overly done. Mm. It, it's, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I will say that it lasted 
all day. When I was playing around with it, it lasted all day. And because I got to play around with the sample pack that they sent me, I actually fell in love with Milano. So um, I ended up doing a little a little trade on one of my fragrance groups that I join on Facebook and I got Milano because I was so in love with it. It is a really beautiful fragrance that you might find that it leans a little masculine. You might find that it leans a little masculine, but like there's this like freshness and like, oh, this juiciness to this one. And I actually, wow. Wow, that was magic. Okay, it was so, so good. Oh, I love this one. This one is definitely, I, 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 I prefer Milano over Siberian Rose. Like Siberian Rose is still really great. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more sophisticated, elegant, and a little more mature. Um, while this one, I just feel like I can wear it every single day. And um, if you layer this with like a very sweet vanilla, whew. Magic, magic. This and Kaoli vanilla was stunning. And again, lasted all day long. So I got this one myself and this one was sent to me. After I tested it out, I had to have this one. And there are quite a few that I smelled and really like from the house. So this is definitely a brand worth checking out if you have the coin for it. I do think that the quality is really, really dead, to be honest with you guys. So um, I might do a video. Yeah, I'll probably do a video, but this one, who this one, this, this one, mm -mm. and um, you you guys might find some might find it a little masculine because there is almost like a tobacco-y kind of dry down, like a smoky dry down. Yeah, like a smoky tobacco-y down dry down, but it's still really pretty. Let me just spray that there. Let me get on these comments here. I'm trying to get more MTs in my winter down here. I finished my Olivia Bell. I have been wearing for a few winters. Oh my God. Yeah, it's hard for me to actually finish a full bottle, but I do have a few that I finished this year, which is great. Mm, yeah, love this one. Um, waiting for my order from MFK. I ordered Satin Oud and La Rose. I have Baccarat Rouge too. Gorgeous. Okay, Satin Oud. Okay. La Rose, I haven't smelled that one yet. Uh, let's see. I can't wait to try Dama Bianca when I get overseas again. Love that one. Love that one. And don't forget to use my code on Twisted Lily. You get 10% off. I'm kind of trying to convince the brand to up that a little bit to like 15%. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys have been doing amazing on their website. So I'm trying to get you guys a higher percentage of a discount. So let's hope. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> hello, hello. We were actually talking about Fragrance Dua. Um, found the stoop for Creed Aventus for her. It's called Al Harain. Okay, really? You need to try it. Oh, I have to write that down on my list. Oh, I can't stop smelling this one. So that those are my thoughts on Fragrance Dubois for those who just entered. Really like it. Really, really like it. And um, I will do a video on the sample pack to at least go through some of the selections that they have and which ones I think are worth it because there are a few that I was just like, mm, it's nice, but I wouldn't spend that much on it. But then there's ones like Milano that I just like, I was pretty in love with from first sniff. You know what I mean? Uh, Dama Bianca is on my list to get. Oh, I, lo I love Dama Bianca. It's, if you love vanilla, you're going to enjoy this one. You're going to enjoy Dama Bianca. And Jerzoff is a brand that I just started to trickle down this year. And I'm so impressed, like so, so impressed with like just the quality, the uniqueness, their bottles, like so impressed. <clears throat> 
I want to try Frangos Dubois, Santal, Complete, but you're selling me on Milano. Oh, I have, where is the sample pack? Um, Where did I put it? I'm trying to see if it's anywhere close to here. So I can kind of just talk about it slightly. Oh, right here. Um, so this is the little sample pack that they sent over also, which I'm really grateful for. Like, I'm always grateful when brands, especially very prestige brands, um, reach out. It's always very, very exciting. But um, I'm always super honest with you guys in terms of like, you know, if I actually like the fragrances or not. <laughs> Um, I do like to give you guys the pros and cons because something that I might not love, you might really enjoy. So always keep that in mind with any of my videos. You know what I mean? You always want to kind of test it out for yourself, even if it's like a little sample. So the one that you said was, okay, Santal, is it in the sample pack? Let me see. Um, I think it was. Oh, right here. I don't remember. I remember smelling a few of these, but I'm trying to remember if I smelled this one already because I haven't had a chance to fully play around with them just yet. I told myself next week I would really give them a chance. Mind you, my nose is a little stuffy. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's a pretty scent. It's fresh, light. Is this a floral fragrance? To my nose, it's coming off almost like white florals. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, the dry down. It's almost like a... I'm getting almost like this soapy, clean vibe. Um slightly sweet but not really like it's it's maybe sweetness coming from like floral note okay let me see and how so this okay it says here powdery vanilla coconut woody coconut okay yeah it's because it's a little creamy It's definitely not linear because it is transforming, but it's a very suave, light scent. It reminds me of something, I feel like it reminds me of something that I already have. It's definitely like those summery type of fragrances. So this is coconut, lime, violet, black pepper, vanilla, amber, musk, and sandalwood. Okay. It reminds me of something else. Why am I thinking of the new Kaali fragrance? Yeah. It's slightly reminding me of the new Kaali fragrance. It's beautiful. Like, it, it, it's a really nice fragrance. Would I pay that much? I don't, I'm not finding it like super unique to be totally honest. I'm not finding it super unique. It's reminding me of Kaoli's new fragrance. Yeah, totally. It, it's like that coconutty, almost like sunscreen vibe that I'm getting. It's very light. It almost feels like this is going to be a scent that's closer to the skin. It could, I could be wrong. Because this sometimes with little samples, it works a little bit different when you have the full bottle. But to me, I'm really like my nose is is here, you know what I'm saying? To really get the fragrance. So I feel like this this one is not like it's not gonna be a loud scent. It's gonna be one that's gonna be closer to the skin unless you like really overspray it. And it's settling down. So there's not much like kick to this fragrance. You're getting more of like this very light, airy, fresh, kind of summery vibe definitely coconutty like a creamy coconut but i'm 100 i feel like you can get this vibe with many other fragrances you know what i mean like if you love the house and you love just like the uniqueness of the presentation all that stuff 
um, I guess it would be worth it because I'm sure there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of niche fragrances that I have that I can get the similar vibe from somewhere else that's a little bit more affordable. But I like it. I would definitely wear it. I would welcome a bottle, but you can get this elsewhere. You can you can 100%. It reminds me of the new Kaoli fragrance. Yeah. Utopia. Yeah. Yeah, that one. It reminds me of it. Maybe on the skin it's different. I'm going to spray it on the skin and let it sit while we talk. And then I'll come back to it. So I'm going to do three sprays, leave it there. But on paper, it's very light. It's very, very light. Very light. <laughs> oh, my God, my daughter. Yes, you can order the pizza now. Everybody knows we're going to eat pizza now. <laughs> yeah, th this is light. Um... I know you love your niche fragrances, girl. So you might want it, but get a sample. Get yourself a sample um, and try it out. I really like the scent, but I'm just saying it's it's reminded me of other, other fragrances like that. It's slightly also reminded me of, what's that replica scent? Whispers, Whispers in the library. For some reason, I'm getting that kind of vibe also. You know, like, yeah. Okay, on the skin, on the skin, I'm getting more, a little bit more of the sandalwood. Like it's a little bit woody, like a slightly, like a creamy woody tone, not really like a, a harsh woody tone. Yeah, on the skin, okay, on the skin, it has a little bit more character. Has a little bit more character. It's still very close to my skin. I did three sprays. You know what I mean? It's still very, very close to my skin. So I don't think it's one that's going to really project. It's not one that's going to be loud. Still that coconutty vibe, a little freshness, slightly sandalwoody for sure. Yeah, I think Utopia is a lot sweeter than this one here. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter. This one is less sweet, but similar vibes, similar vibes. So just being quite honest with you, girl, get a sample, get a sample. Okay. Um, let's see. What we're saying here, I want to try da da da. Um, we were trying Fragrance du Bois. Fragrance du Bois. I love the name though. <laughs> I love the name. Okay, so another fragrance that I got is from Sarah Jessica Parker. This was one of her fragrance launches. It's called Stash. I believe it's been discontinued now for a little while, but you can get this online if you really search. And I just loved the bottle and everything, especially when I was really into hunting down celebrity fragrances that are more unique and elevated. This was one that came up a lot, but it was so hard to find. So I finally got um, Stash and the bottle as you guys can see, it's it's kind of different from your usual celebrity fragrance bottles. Like a lot of the time they make it look so, huh, I don't even know, just like not cute. It just looks too like childish almost. So this bottle looks a lot more elevated, slightly reminds me of like the um, replica line. And it also has this like fabric going on here, the same as this one here, the same um, material almost. So I like the bottle a lot. It's a little bit more elevated. And the fragrance is not your typical celebrity fragrance whatsoever. It's not like your sweet cotton candy um, fragrance at all. It's like very smoky and totally unisex. I was so surprised. Oh my God, yeah almost like gives me the same vibes as by the fireplace, but this has a little bit more freshness to it. And it's not a linear fragrance. It definitely develops over time. I haven't played around too much. I just kind of tested it out here and there, but 
I'm really happy with this one. Like, I'm so surprised that this is a celebrity scent because I can totally see a whole other brand like Replica putting this in a bottle and everyone absolutely loving it. So if you can get your hands on Stash and you like more of this unisex vibe, freshness in there, but a little smoky and a little woody, you're going to like this one a lot. So just to share with you guys some of the notes in this one here. Slightly has like a, a green tone also. So stash. I always check on uh, Fragrantica. I think most of us do. So it's woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, amber, warm, spicy. Those are the main accords. So the notes in here, the top, we have black pepper, sage, and grapefruit. Middle, we have cedar, patchouli, pistachio, and white ginger lily. Um, we had wood in the base, vetiver, musk, and I don't even know what that is. But um, see, like even when you read the notes, you would think this is like a niche fragrance or something <laughs> because you don't really see celebrity fragrances mixing these very daring notes. You know what I mean? It's usually, you know, your vanilla, your orange blossom your bergamot in the opening, but this is like, it's very different. And I like it. Totally unisex. I like it. This was, this, this is good. This one is a celebrity scent that you will not smell like a celebrity scent whatsoever. And it does last really well. So I like that one a lot. I like that one a whole lot. What is your favorite celebrity scent? You had a nice reaction to Milano. I like Milano a lot. I really do. But I will war warn you, it is definitely very unisex. I'm glad that you previewed this fragrance because I was about to order it. Which one? Madonna, Truth or Dare. I had Truth or Dare, like just the first one, not the naked. And it was definitely another celebrity scent that had amazing quality, lasted really long. But to me, it, it just came off a little bit too vintage. So I wasn't really touching it. Like the two bros, I think it's two bros or some kind of white floral was just a little too um, strong for me. So I ended up giving that one away. but I've never tried um, the flanker. And I also have Rihanna, Rebel Fleur, which I like, but I haven't tried in a really, really long time. So that is kind of on the declutter side. I'm looking at my fragrances that I have pulled aside for decluttering. And there's quite a few that I just kind of, um, I think I'm just over them. You know what I mean? I think I'm just over them because I really haven't, had the urge to even like spray them just to even smell them. So yeah, there's quite a few of them. <clears throat> um, what else do we have here? So this is a house that I recently was introduced to and I'm sorry, and I'm so excited to um, do a little review on this. This is Carner Barcelona. And I actually have two fragrances. Uh, this one was sent to me and this one I got on my own. Um, as soon as I tried this one, I was like, okay, hey, I, I need to play around with more. <laughs> so I'm really into almond scents right now. And Tardish is one that you need if you love almond fragrances. So Carner Barcelona. Um, I like the scents. I like the, the packaging, very bulky, very, very bulky. I know that the top is actually real wood from my understanding, which is cool. It adds to the quality. And when it comes to niche price point, this is definitely more on the affordable side, which is great. And they have quite a few fragrances to select from. This is Rima. And um, I was wearing it the other day. I even asked my husband what he thought of it. He said, it's a really nice, like, non-obnoxious, very light fragrance. And I completely agree. So wearable. It's a little creamy and light and airy. And it's just so likable. Like it sits on the skin so nicely. You can easily wear this every single day and just feel great about it. So notes for this one. Let me see right here. 
because these are all fairly new. I haven't even really, you know, put the notes in my head, but this, uh, and it has a slight like green undertone, like a, a, like a spicy green undertone, but very, very lightly the notes in this one. So in the top we have cardamom, black pepper, saffron, and mint. So the opening is like that burst of spice in there. Um, and then we have in the middle note, lots of beautiful spices that I love. Nutmeg, coriander, we have cinnamon, and then there's also jasmine, Indian jasmine to be specific. And then the base, we have, of course, vanilla. This is Madagascar vanilla. There's sandalwood, there's benzoin, there's amber, there's cedar, and then there's musk. Ah, it's so good. Like, so good. It's just like one of those fragrances that you put on and you want to just keep wearing it. Um, so I really, really like it. It does sit a little closer to the skin, so you can overspray. And this one I got from Twisted Lily because they do have Carter Barcelona on their website. And then um, Thai dish is your almond goodness, honestly. Mm, it's a bit of an, a bitter almond, um, not bitter, and it's not sweet, like it's not overly sweet or anything like that. It's a really nice balance between almondy, like a nutty almond, but then there's like these floral tones that add a bit of freshness to this scent. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's super pretty. I actually have a video um coming out that talks about my favorite almond scents and this is in it for sure so this was actually one that i got because of sam i don't know if you guys follow her but you definitely need to she is the um, she has a channel called my world of fragrance she talked about this scent and i just had to get it after she talked about it so thank you sam for shouting out these fragrances she has such an amazing channel definitely go follow her but um that's Carter. Barcelona. So I love trying out new brands and I'm so happy when they actually work out. Let's see what you guys are saying. <clears throat> um, Madonna Truth of that. Um, I haven't tried the fragrance from Russell and Sierra. No, I haven't even seen it yet, to be really honest. I've never had a niche fragrance. I'm starting my collection now. What is niche? What niche do you recommend? I'm into loud fragrances, the ones that everybody can smell on me. <laughs> there are quite a few niche fragrances that are very, very loud. So it really depends. Are you into gourmands? Are you into florals? Are you into woody tones? Um, I would say the Lancome private collection is a great introduction. If you love loud fragrances, Oud Bouquet, honey, will get you all the attention you need. That is beast mode in a bottle. Oud Bouquet is like a their interpretation of rose and oud combo, which a lot of brands do. It's very jammy and sweet and feminine. Um, so that is one that you should definitely check out. It's, 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 pr it projects, like, I'm not going to lie. It's very loud. Um, I really like Mancera's instant crush. Um, it's really, really good. I think I'm going to seize. Uh, what else? What else? <coughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, there are quite a few that, that, um, project really loudly. I actually have a video on, um, my beast mode, beast mode fragrances. So check out my channel. There will definitely be a video there that talks about quite a few fragrances that are very loud, very, very loud. Uh, let's see. For almond, I've been wearing Elisab Girl of Now. That is a nice almond one too. It's more on the sweeter side. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. It, it, it's really nice. Uh, marzipan icing cake bomb. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. I like that one too. I haven't worn it in a little while, but I like to wear it more in the cooler days to be totally honest. So, um, let's, let's go ahead and move on because my life is, uh, is going to end shortly, shortly. So I got a few fragrances, um, from Raja Perfumes, and I'm always so, so delighted to see a PR package from him. Luxury, luxury in a box. Like, 
these fragrances are exquisite, the packaging and everything. Um, so I got this one here, Reckless, which is part of the new Essence uh, collection. And um, I really, really like this one. It's more of a white floral fragrance to me. Yeah, very like fresh tube rose bubble gummy type of scent when you smell this one, especially just smelling it right here. I don't remember all of the notes, but for me, I pick up a lot of like white floral tones. So you kind of have to be into that um, type of fragrance, but I really, really like it. The packaging is very beautiful. And this is one that I've been wearing quite a bit since I got it. Um, I don't feel like I need over spray, but um, compared to other Rogers, it's not the most long lasting just compared to other ones, but on my clothes, it lasts way, way longer. So I'll probably do a video on some of these Roger parfums because I know a lot of you guys ask me questions about them. And then this one is Harrods Parfum Pour Femme. This was another recent launch and I think they have the male version and the female version. This is definitely like a green scent, fresh green, a little spicy, almost has like this herbally tone. So this for me is more of a layering fragrance just because I'm not like one for a very fresh green kind of herbally fragrance. I do like them for layering, but on their own, it's very rare that I will wear something like that unless it's a super, super hot day and it calls for it. But for the most part, this is a scent that I will layer. It's still very luxurious, very elegant and elevated. And the bottle is just, I mean, it's it's girl girl it's everything it is everything and then this is Bergdorf pour femme I think that's how you say it. I still have the plastic on this um because I got these pretty recently let me take it off real quick oh so pretty the bottles are always really really gorgeous they're very over the top I'm not gonna lie but I don't mind at all um, and this one, this is a little bit more on the mature side. I actually don't even know the notes of this one because I can't really pinpoint it. Also coming off a little floral tone, but I could be completely wrong. Let me uh, check. Uh, is it on here? There we go. So... Yeah, that's what I expected. White floral, a little powdery. There's slightly vanilla tones in here. A little animalic. I didn't really get the animalic tone. Oh, this has a lot of notes. So the opening, we have bergamot. The middle, there's a lot of florals. There's gardenia, heliotrope, jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, rose, lily of the valley, violet. And then the base, we have oak moss, cedar, musk, benzoin, pink pepper, vanilla, and so on and so forth. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. But to me, ultimately, it is a white floral fragrance. A little, yeah, it's 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 on the mature side. It is definitely on the mature side. It's lovely, it's elegant, um, definitely calls for a special occasion. Like the the event has to be the right type of event to pull this one off, giving me a little bit of Chanel Coco vibes that kind of, you know, scenario, that's the fragrance that I'm smelling. It's a little powdery. It is a little powdery, but um, not for everyone. If you love your more vintage -y fragrances, this is a great option. So those are the ones that I got from Raja. Out of all of them, Reckless is definitely my favorite right now. It is my favorite right now. I'm really starting to get into white floral fragrances as long as they're not done too, like, vintage-y. When they come off a little too vintage that's when I kind of like ugh, you know what I mean I have to really layer them and play around with them but when it's like a more fresh modern kind of tube rose that's when I can vibe hello hello honey yeah I just decided listen my lives I just kind of just come on jump on here and start talking Talking, I should definitely warn you guys. I always say that I'm so I'm terrible. I should definitely warn you guys. Oh, my nose is killing me. Okay. Next up, we have 
okay, we'll talk about these three and then we're going to pick it up. Yeah, for sure. So we have some Pint Halligan. I love the team at Pint Halligan. They're so sweet and I just love talking to them. I love just the connection that we've built and the brand is just amazing. Their faces are beautiful. So I really, I just, I just really like interacting with Pent Halligan. So they sent over a few fragrances. This is Luna. And I was really surprised by how much I like this one because it's more of a fresh light almost soapy clean vibe with this like citrusy background. This is an EDT um, and I haven't played around with it to the point that I know like the longevity or anything like that. Mm. And here's the cute little bottle. This is the 30 mil. This is such a cute little bottle. Um, so Luna is definitely your very fresh, airy, light, um, soapy clean vibe, like straight out the shower. It's beautiful. It's very like feminine and elegant almost the way that like I feel about Creed Aventus for her like kind of leaning that way this is Luna and I'm I'm really surprised by how much I like it so if you really enjoy like your fresh light airy a little citrus clean almost like a clean musky vibe Luna is a really pretty one so so pretty like an everyday wear easily a signature scent 100 this one here easily a signature scent and uh, the bottle is super cute and also the box. They also sent over this one over here with, which is Halfetti, Halfetti right there, which comes in this like wooden like box. Yes. Yes. Wooden like box, I'm almost done. Um, and this is the EDP, this is the 100 mil. And do you guys have a favorite from Pent Halligan? Definitely let me know. This is another really cute bottle. Look at that, so cute. Their bottles are either very simple with a little bow or they have the portraits collection, which is definitely a lot more. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. This one I sprayed in the box. I'm not gonna spray it right now because my nose is like killing me and it's too much <laughs> fragrance. This is a very like um, spicy type of scent, very unisex, um, a lot of depth to it, a woody also. Is this slight sweetness in the background? I really, really like this one. I can't wait to wear it. For me, it feels like more of an evening scent. Easily unisex, yeah, easily unisex. Mmm, this one's, mmm, this one's good. So I have to really play around with them a lot to uh, give you guys a full video on it. And then the last one, Penta Hallingen has such pretty classy bottles. I want to try the favorite. I definitely want to try the favorite also. I've been eyeing that one. Yeah, this one, it's, it's nice. Excuse my nose. I am so sorry. Um, I don't own any of their fragrances yet. Definitely check out Pint Halligan. Don't sleep on them. Their fragrances are beautiful from presentation, quality. They're really, really nice. Um, this one is from the Portrait Collection. I really like the Portrait Collection. I have, I think, four of them right now. And then this is the other one, Changing Constance. I already sprayed this when I got it and... Wow, this is a beauty. This is this is one from the portrait collection that you need, especially if you love your spicy, slightly gourmand, like sweet, oh, slightly smoky. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna spray this one on paper. This is the last one that I'm gonna spray. Oh, my nose is gonna like literally kill me right now. Okay. If you if you trust my taste for those sexy kind of date night, deep fragrances. Changing Constance. Oh, the itemizer is pretty, look at this. Just that continuous mist is so nice. And oh, let me show you guys. Mm, I can smell it. It's super, oh, it has an addictive nature, sweet. Like that's how potent this one is. I don't even need to smell here. It's literally just, right in front of me oh my goodness so good so this is the the bottle how cute is that not even cute it's just like wow 
Like, wow. <laughs> so this one, mm, sweet, spicy, but the spices are more like, a, you know, like a nutmeg or a, or a cinnamon type of spice or some kind of like spice that way. It's sweet. I'm getting some sort of vanilla tone in here also. I haven't even looked up the notes. Let me check the notes. But this one, this one is a must. And I know a lot of people were comparing this to Demi Rose's collaboration with Fragrance Dubois. And I do have a sample, a generous sample of that scent. And I see the similarities. I definitely see the similarities. So I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe she was inspired by this scent. Mm. It does have like this sweet, sweet tone. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So the notes in this one, we have cardamom, pimento. Yeah, it's spicy in the opening. There's caramel and salt. And then the base notes, we have vanilla, cashmere on, and tobacco. Oh my God, that's why I love it. Oh, those notes are good. All of those notes are deliciously good. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow, this is this is definitely one to have. Hi Latanya, thank you for joining. Oh yeah. This this is the one to have. Um I think out of all of the fragrances that I just unboxed, like uh I'm gonna say that um Lano and Changing Constance are definitely ones that I'm head over heels, head over heels. It's so, so good. Oh my God, my nose. It's so, so good. Like this one, spicy, spicy goodness, sweet, sweet. Um, It's one that I will probably wear more in the winter time. Yeah. Or like very cool summer night. Oh my God. I'm going to play with this tomorrow for sure. This is so good. So good. Mm, love that one. Love that one. Um, are you talking about changing constants? Yes. That's the one that I'm talking about. Excuse my nose. I'm very stuffy. <laughs> love changing constants as well as Cladistine Clara. Yeah, I have that one and I like that one a lot too. But I think out of all of the portrait collection that I've tried, this is definitely. This is definitely on top. This is definitely on top for me. <laughs> I just got a discovery set from Penhaligon and fell in love yesterday with it. It's so good. So good. Bewitching Jasmine is really nice also. I think they're all just so good in their own unique way. It really just depends what you prefer because all the ones that I've tried have been amazing. Even the ones for the male, um, my husband really likes too. So don't sleep on Penthaligon. Their fragrances are bomb, like so, so good quality. They smell amazing. They last really well. So definitely check them out if you haven't yet. At least get yourself some samples. And I think, do they have it on Twisted Lily? I feel like Penthaligon was on Twisted Lily. I'm not sure if they still are um, on Twisted Lily. So if they are, they will have samples on there too. But I feel, I, I, I know you can just go directly on their website. I don't know how much it will be, but yeah. Uh, I've been trying to talk myself out of buying the full body. <laughs> the full body. <laughs> then I open your live and you are talking about it. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Coveted Duchess Rose smells just like Delina. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet. I have not tried that one yet. But I did hear it's really, really good. I think the entire portrait collection is just like, it's stunning. It's so stunning. Oh, Nordstrom is having a sale on the entire portrait collection discovery set. Check out my new video. The latest video I just posted, um, I linked 
that set. So what's the price on that? Let me just check right now. It is the portraits collection. It's the entire portraits collection, I believe. And it is the discovery set that Nordstrom uh, has going right now. Let me check. So I linked it. Did I link it? Uh, did I not link it? So I have diptyque. Da, 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 da. I think I thought to link that one on my video. Oh my, oh my goodness. But I think I talked about it in the video. I just didn't put the link down below. So I'm going to add the link to that one on that video because I know that they definitely have a discovery set on sale right now. Let me see. Um, see if I can find it. Fragrance, fragrance, fragrance. Penthaligon discovery set. Okay, here we go. So this is the portrait travel size scent library set. Um, it's usually $8, like the value. And right now it is $44. So right there, right there, right there, right there from Nordstrom. Um, I don't know if there's sale, this is early access. So if you have early access, you can, or just put it in your cart. And then when it make, when they make it public, um, that one. At least you'll be able to try all of them. So I'm going to also put that in the um, link of my video because I really forgot to do that. My apologies. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in the video. But yeah, there you go. Try it out. Try it out and let me know which ones are your favorites. Black Friday, Penn Halligan has amazing stuff. I'm waiting for that. Okay. Yes, I got discovery set from Nordstrom for it all. Okay, great. The irreverence. I haven't tried that house yet. Yeah, like Nordstrom this year around, I find they're having really great um sales and just department stores in general, I find they're like seeing that there's a lot of competition and they are really bringing the sales. You know what I mean? Like Nordrum, um, I know Halts. Um, I have a video coming up very soon about another great sale on a department store that has a lot of niche fragrances. So, you know, look out for those good, good sales. Like, especially when you want something that is a little bit more pricey, if you can get like 50, hundred dollars off, <laughs> definitely do that. Okay definitely do that. Rodriguez Embry. I've never tried that fragrance before, Jeffer. Never tried that one. Yeah. So I am going to end the live here. I need to blow my nose. I need to wash my face <laughs> and relax my voice. Um, order my pizza and chill out with the kids. It's Friday. So you guys have, been, if you've been following me for a while, you know that on Fridays we do pizza and movie night. So we're going to pick a little movie, cozy up on the couch and watch something and eat something and just relax. Thank you so much. Hopefully this weekend, all of this will be gone away and not get worse. I'm going to drink a lot of tea because I hate taking medication. I just hate it so much. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do a couple of home remedies to get this, this situation under control because I need to film. But when my voice is like that, it's like so hard. But I'm so excited for all of the upcoming content. We have a few sponsored posts just to be totally transparent with you guys. We do have a few sponsored posts coming up in the next couple of weeks, which I'm so excited about because it's always very exciting to connect with brands, but I also have a ton of um, organic content. You know, you guys, you guys know I love filming. So um, yeah, excited for the new background, the new quality. I got a new mic and the sound is just a lot better. Uh, lighting situation is a lot better. So excited for you guys to see like the new, the new setup. I do have two videos that will be posted in the next week or two that are still in my room because they were pre previously 
recorded and had to get approved and all that stuff. But this is the new new setup and you guys will see that tomorrow on a new video. Um, I tried to film like three videos today, but my nose and my, my voice was just like cracking every time. I just, I'm like, okay, hey, just stick to one <laughs> video and just relax. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, uh, an amazing weekend. I will try to come on live sometime next week and this time actually announce it. So you guys know, um, I think this time is great for a lot. Of, well, actually those in Europe, it's kind of late. So I have to find a time that kind of meets everyone in the middle somewhat. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and come on live next week and just do a little chatty stuff, like very casual laid back stuff. And, uh, the last live that I did is still up. I believe we talked a lot about influencers and, uh, how to make money online and all that stuff, which is kind of cool. So if you guys ever have a lot of questions, definitely feel free to leave it in the live or contact me on Instagram on my DMS. I try to, um, respond to as many DMS as I can. So DM me there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned for what an hour and 10 minutes and, uh, have a great weekend guys. Bye.